And, uh, welcome to the video and uh, today we've come to this location uh, to recapture missing images so we came here about five years ago uh, took a load of compositions got home put them on the hard drive and subsequently lost the images on the hard drive it failed uh, so today is all about recapturing those lost images uh, which should make quite a quick video because I know where all the compositions are I just need to go and find them uh, the light this morning is not very good, so I've come down to uh, the Monster Weir to get compositions here because I don't really need light to capture this. Now a lot of people take the uh, weir from this angle, uh, but the foreground is really messy and I don't like this angle at all. So we're going to move around uh, to what I uh, think is a much better angle to take this uh, uh, image. Well, um, when I came here five years ago, you could get down here and now it's been fenced off uh, due to damage to the weir tunnels. So uh, the composition I want is not accessible and it would have been uh, looking across there, directly uh, looking into the curve of the weir. But uh, now unless I illegally climb over this fence, I'm not gonna get the shot and I'm not gonna do uh, anything illegal even though it's uh, nice and early in the morning so I'm gonna have to uh, go back and see uh, have a look around see if I can get the uh, the weir from another angle how disappointing but that's what five years does things change Not the shot I wanted, but uh, beggars can't be choosers. So we're on one eighth of a second F16 at ISO 64. It's not a bad shot actually, the sunlight's just cast catching the right hand side. Don't tell today, I've got the wrong glasses on, I've got my sunglasses on so I can't see uh, the screen very well. Okay, last time I was here, this field um, was full of cows and bulls and you had to navigate through them to get down to the weir. And uh, I've just noticed on the other side of the river there, uh, we've got some uh, cows and uh, possibly a couple of bulls uh, just uh, coming through the trees there. And what eventually they're gonna do is they're gonna make their way around and they're gonna cross over this bridge. Uh, and when they do, I'll be uh, back up uh, on the viaduct, I think, for safety. Well, it looks like they're having the breakfast, so uh, they won't want to take uh, a piece out of me, hopefully. And there's, there's quite a few, uh, actually, if you look back into the trees, uh, there's quite a few. So I think we're going to move away. We've got a shot of the weir, and we're going to move away uh, out of uh, this situation that we could end up in. Okay, I'm trying this composition here where we've got sort of a yellow daisy weeds either side of the, the track that uh, leads up to the viaduct uh, itself. Not fantastic light. The sun's uh, dipped behind some clouds at the minute, but uh, we'll see how it comes out. Another composition here. And um, if we can get the, uh, the river to uh, just lose some of its ripples we'll get a nice reflection of the viaduct in the water there's about 15 uh, Canada geese just to the left there now if they decide to jump in the water we're going to have no chance of getting that reflection so I'm going to give uh, wait a while see what uh, see what happens I'm going to take the shot um, because it's a nice sh scene anyway uh, it's surprising how uh, more overgrown it is. I suppose it will, will be more overgrown after five years. Uh, but uh, let's just see what we get uh, from this scene.
Well, as you can hear, there's about uh, a million kids just arrived. So we are getting some reflection now and the reflection we're getting is quite nice. There's just a little bit of a breeze uh, across the river. This is the River Y. And uh, thank thankfully those uh, Canada geese, some of them have laid down. I spoke too soon, it's... Uh, we're just losing the reflection again. Come on, one more shot. One more shot. Please give me one more shot. Just the one. Please. Sounds like the kids have gone. Okay, I'll just tilt to the camera down to get more of this foreground in. Uh, not the most colorful of sort of weedy flowers, but uh, they are fitting into the composition. Okay, we're going to uh, call it a wrap here on this and move on to the next composition. There's more and more, you can hear more and more people arriving now, so it's going to get more difficult to get shots uh, without people in. Okay, in this next uh, composition, um, we're placing this um, gate in the lower part of the image and uh, in the upper part uh, we're featuring this uh, awesome uh, viaduct. On the viaduct now that was quite a climb back up uh, and there's views either side of this uh, viaduct so I'll show them both but I have a, just a preference to one side uh, only so let's have a look so this side you can see uh, the river Y and we have some trees and uh, it will be an okay shot however if we go the other side much more pleasing we've got uh, trees We've got the River Y, and then we've got the uh, the field that we just walked through, and you can just see in the in the background there the cows have now uh, followed me up, probably following my scent. Bless them. So yeah, you can get a uh, uh, portrait shot here and a landscape shot. Quite nice. Again, you know, if you get some nice light. Uh, on the landscape and in the sky, you get a better shot here. At the end of the viaduct, uh, we've got a headstone tunnel and uh, we're going to go inside and take some shots. Unfortunately, can you see those uh, horrible orange barriers that have been left there? Why would you leave orange barriers there? We're gonna be either going to have to clone them out of the shot or uh, keep them out of the composition. I think this is health and safety at work, isn't it? Must be. So, that's not looking bad on the video actually. As you see, as we get further in, the, the tunnel bends to the left. So we're gonna just go to where that bend is and then set up and see what compositions we can get uh, looking back uh, the other way uh, to the tunnel entrance. And there's nothing moving in the tunnel. There's a couple of runners uh, joggers just gone through and you get cyclists going through it because on a hot summer's day going through this tunnel must be really refreshing when there's no cyclist or runner coming through this tunnel it's eerily quiet.
gonna try some wide angle shots now with the 14 to 24 mil lens. It's eerily quiet in this tunnel. I'm glad when somebody uh, cycles through actually. got that uh, quiet again. Imagine being in here and the, a train rushing through. Just had to take a shot uh, in the other direction as well. While I'm here, it would be rude not to put the 70 to 200 lens on and get some shots at 200 mil. Well, after cooling off in the tunnel, we've now come up to uh, Monsell Head itself. So we've got a view of the uh, viaduct to the left there. And then to the right, we've got a view down into Monsell Dale. Did a couple of panos here, horizontal pano and a vertical pano. So if you like this type of content, please consider subscribing to the channel, sharing the video, giving the video a like or making a comment. And uh, we'll go into a slideshow now and uh, I'll see you later.